Welcome, we're here with Bonnie Dundee today, who are a fantastic group of volunteers based in Dundee and the surrounding area. And well, I'm just gonna hand over to Catherine, who's gonna give a quick overview of what Bonnie Dundee is and what they do for the local area. <clears throat> This group has been going since 2005 with um, everything connected with COP and saving the environment and the infect, effects of various things. A couple of years ago, we read a quote that said, a billion tiny actions got us to where we are today and a billion tiny actions can improve the whole situation. So what we do is we make notices and we place them all over the city and the areas we work to try and take the public along with us, to try and get the public with their garden spaces that they have um, engage in, in what we do. Um, biggest things we do is Flowering Dundee. We run a Flowering Dundee project where we hand out wildflowers throughout the city um, and we map the areas in the city. So. Um, Along with the Eden Project Wild Meadows, Dundee City Council Wild Meadows, we end up with 34 of our own little mini meadows all over the city that encourages um, pollinators. We do so much. I'll pass this round and everybody can tell you a little bit about all the different things we do. Hi, I represent the university as part of it. And we have several areas that we planted 15 years ago now for wildflowers to increase biodiversity. We have several orchards. We also have on campus allotments, which are 100% organic for staff and students. So we're constantly looking at things to help with Bonnie and Dundee. We also get some students along. We do litter picks on campus. We also do part of the, the tea clean. We're doing all the beach cleans and cigarette ends. So it's all about promoting things. And we also I have had some students in the past help me do Westport because that's one of the areas we look after as well. People think a lot from a council, but it's not. Hi, I'm Graham. I'm vice chair of Bonnie Dundee. Have been since day one, like Catherine. <laughs> it's about the same time the Ardra Environment Group started. We started off with one, one very small garden. We now have three plus the, the four uh, street tubs in the centre of the, uh, the causeway there. Uh, we've been doing this, say, for about 20 years, and we've been having uh, people looking for jobs and the school children have been down helping in their lesson time with the teachers. And we, we keep on winning um, uh, awards, so we must be doing something right with Keep Scotland Beautiful. Hi, I'm Sue. Um, I volunteer with Bonnie Dundee and with the Botanic Gardens, and um, we work very closely together. The Botanic Gardens have in the past supplied us with daffodils and sunflower plants for us to distribute. The Botanics are also, have initiated um, a rewilding scheme for Dundee, and we are involved with that. Um, it influences all sorts of things like our plant choices. We're looking for drought resistant plants now because after the summer last year, we had such difficulty keeping things alive. Those kind of issues are really important to us now. Hi, I'm Loreto and I originally come here in 2017 and I was with the Multicultural Centre. I'm the one who ends up looking at reasons for what's happening. And one of the things I've been really interested in since last year was the pollinators. And I hadn't realised that bees were actually came from wasps because the trees going back 140,000 years ago were having different difficulty pollinating. Uh, the wind wasn't doing it so well. Well, in typical Dundee fashion, we've moved inside because uh, we've been slightly rained off. As you've all said, like, sort of, you do so much. What would you say is the, the real importance of what you do? I think one of the first things with everything on the news about the importance of the environment and that really we all have a responsibility to, to do something. And our passion is outside gardening, wildlife. So th this is what we do. And we try and take the public along with us. If every single person did a small thing, imagine the difference it would make to everyone. Also, the other side, you've got mental health. You know, it's good. It's good exercise. It's free exercise. Uh, it's fresh air, it's healthy. When I walk out of Dundee Rail Station in summer and I see all the planters and all the way up Union Street, it makes me smile. And I'm sure it makes visitors to Dundee smile because we look after Union Street, 
outside Malmaison, West, Westport, mm -hmm. back of the Overgate. I think people will be really surprised to see outside, how many different areas. Outside the Science Centre, yeah. these are all managed, all those tubs and all yeah. the orchard are all managed by yeah. Bonnie Dundee. And it makes you think like if those weren't there, sort of, it would make a massive difference. What advice can you give to local people to uh, do their bit, to get involved in or just go out into their garden a bit more and a um, bit more um, interested in the outdoors? And also, how can people kind of get involved with Bonnie Dundee and the various sort of groups that you've mentioned already? We think, like we're saying, or like you're saying, go out in your garden. You know, there's so much you can do in your garden just to make a start, you know, bird boxes, um, think about the plants you're planting, all that kind of thing. Um, I think, Catherine, there's a, web, a council website, isn't there, with a list of volunteer groups on there. And that's a really good good way to get involved. I, I've only been with Bonnie Dundee for, well, I think it's less than a year, but that's what I did when I moved here. I, I went down the list and thought, oh, that looks good, and, and just phoned. Catherine up and, and went from there. <laughs> yeah, we'll put a link to the, all the sort of Facebook page and the website in the video as well. So anyone who wants to get involved in any of the various groups that's been mentioned, then uh, go to that link as well. Yeah. And just as a little sort of uh, tidbit that we're asking all the sort of different groups in the video series. So what's your favourite um, sort of thing about particularly Scottish wildlife and Scottish sort of flora and sort of the gardening that you sort of work on? I'll start and I'll pass it round. Right. I can't honestly just say one. Anything you look up online, bees you get in Dundee, anything, you look up and you go, wow, I didn't know that. Uh, my interest, in fact, was I grew up in Persia and when I moved to Dundee, it, I discovered it's the only Scottish city that has red squirrels. And oh, yeah. I joined the red squirrel group when I first moved here because, as I say, we see, I see them in my garden. You, see, you actually do see them yeah. around the city. There's nowhere else. I don't know if in the world that you can see Red squirrels just leaping around to the centre. One of the things that I I find uh, is the fact how animals adjust to an urban area. Uh, we have rabbits <laughs> in Overgate, which are kind of causing problems for some <laughs> of the gang here uh, because they always eat all the nice flowers. Uh -huh. But the one thing is... They come from the house. Now, the house has probably been there since the 14th century. Yeah. And, if, you know, the part of the history, really, of Dundee and that area, because that is a battle between what we can grow, but it makes us look to see what rabbits don't like. And every time <laughs> we find out what rabbits don't it. like, there's <laughs> always this bit at the end. But if there's nothing else, so <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll go for it. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, we've learned so much about Bonnie Dundee and the various groups and the various uh, bits of work you're doing around the city. It's fantastic to see all this stuff that's happening. And if anyone is interested in finding out more about Bonnie Dundee or getting involved, uh, there'll be a link in the video at the bottom. And um, yeah, I encourage you to, to check it out. But uh, thank you everyone uh, for coming along today. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.